This world is changing. What's wrong, Judith? One wrong choice could have led to far greater destruction, but instead the spirits were born. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices for change to occur. The spirits are proof of that. Maybe their current form shows the future the Intelikea hope to create. Yes, I think you might be right. One day, Baum might also face the decision of becoming a spirit. If the spirits represent evolution for the Intelikea, then... Old Goosey turned into gnomes safe and sound. That's a load off. Yes, it would have been tragic if he'd transformed into an autophagos. Yeah, he's just fulfilling the role he was meant to play. I doubt he ever thought that his transformation might have caused the cataclysm itself. I feel for the poor Entelikea who became autophagos in the past. If only they'd had the option of spirit conversion. Young lady, don't dwell too much on all the what ifs. Maybe they didn't have a choice. But those who became Autophagos are trying to devour this world. That is the reality. I know, but it's just so sad. So this is Reloise? Yes, Baul says it is. But I don't see any air crane or Entelikea. Looks like we can take this path down. It 
a long way down. Yes, it is. Now that is a sight to behold. Please be careful not to fall, Patty. Carol's the one you ought to be worrying about taking a tumble here. Uh, that's not true! Let's get going. Let's get going. Yes, yes, it looks like that's all we can do. Hey, why don't we just ride Ba'u all the way to the bottom? No, it's narrow, and the wind is all over the place. It's a little too dangerous. This wind is fierce indeed. This place must be where all the gales are born. That means this valley is the mother of the wind. The mother of the wind, huh? I can see a river way down at the bottom! This is what happens when a river wears away at the earth for years and years. Ah, the power of nature. Who knows how long it took to make this. Whoa! I get all dizzy when I look straight down. Idiot. <laughs> well, just make sure you don't slip and fall. So Area Lumen is something Gusios created. Right. I remember seeing a similar crystal back at Ker Bakram. Yeah, you were pretty absorbed in that thing. The Rita radar never lets any objects of interest go undetected. Oh, I forgot. If Gusios undergoes spirit conversion, I won't be able to investigate him. There goes the Rita radar. Don't get carried away now.
We got a head start. Let's take care of him quick.
victory is sweet.
the wrong people to fight with.
Man, could you be any weaker? Let's just get it over This looks like fun. There's no way we're gonna lose. This practice makes... This kind of stuff gets to us, old folks. Come on, old man. Yeah, you're gonna have to climb back up when we're done. He's dead. Someone's coming! Person? Here? You. Duke. Appearing out of nowhere as usual. Many thanks for rescuing Yuri. Why are you the one thanking him? What are you doing here? We heard there was an Antilochia here. We came to ask it to become a spirit. A spirit? A being that comes from reincarnating an Antilochia through an Apatheia. We might be able to solve the air problem completely with the spirit's power. By converting air into mana. I see. That's why. Duke? Reincarnation. Converting air. You are trying to remake the world itself. All to solve a problem that humans themselves brought about. Such arrogance. But if we don't fix the air problem, the Autophagos will destroy the world. Bellius understood. 
She became Undine and is lending us her power. Pharaoh as well. He was reborn as a freet. The proper form of Terca Lumeres is one in which all living things, including Entelikea, live in their natural state. You understand that as well. But what about Gusios? He was trying to control the air. But then he took too much and became really dangerous. Yeah. I don't want to think what would have happened if we hadn't reincarnated him as Gnome. Indeed. Humans in Entelikea can find a way to coexist by pushing these boundaries. Even so, I do not accept it. I will protect this world. You said that before. So just how do you plan to protect the world? I will not interfere with you, so do not interfere with me. Ahead lies one of the oldest springs in the world. Pay it due respect. So you won't answer the main question? Hmm. Farewell. I doubt we shall meet again. Uh, hey! He's gone! Such a warm and fun-loving little fellow. I wonder what he's trying to do. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about it. Let me go ask him. Not a soul alive would refuse to answer a beautiful laugh. Patty, darling, you just don't have the good graces for an approach like that to work. Rita, is something wrong? Well... I bet with his sword, with Dane Nomos, we could focus the spirit's energy on the Autophagos. Should we chase him down and ask him to lend it to us? Yeah, I don't think he's in much of a giving mood right now. Me neither. Well, whatever we do, we have to get all the spirits first. Let's focus on that for now. Ooh, I think I'm in love. 
careless.
So this is the oldest spring in the world. It's so quiet. The air is so clear. It feels holy. Never would have thought a place like this was at the bottom of the mountain. I feel so... at ease. This isn't really a good time to kick back and relax, but... It is so peaceful. Watch it! That's air, not water. It's really dense. You shouldn't go near it. You came. Hey, that's... We met you at the castle, didn't we? Chroma, was it? It doesn't look like you're trying to avenge Alexei. Duke didn't listen to you, did he? He's trying to protect the world in his own way. So what is Duke trying to do? He's trying to exchange the lives of humans to protect the world. What? Why would Duke do something like that? He doesn't trust humans. But Duke helped us! He even lent us his beloved blade! I assume he saw some of himself in you. Or perhaps he thought he wouldn't have to get his hands dirty as long as you were around. What do you... Why are you telling us about Duke? I think it's time you showed who you really are, Antilochea. Huh? That form! What do you want? Is this just a roundabout way of saying you're not going to help? I too cannot trust humans, but neither do I want to see him take revenge on his own kind. If you can truly save the world, then I will not refuse to help. However, you have chosen a different path. You will likely confront each other. Yeah, maybe. If he is beyond your power, then nothing in this world can stop him. I will test your strength! Here she comes!
You were watching over everything. Leave the rest to us. Marvelous. Perhaps you all can, indeed, save the world. Chroma. Do as you wish. Estelle, come on. Judith? Right. Do it. It worked! She's sleeping. It's the same as with Gnome. A new comrade has been born. One who controls the winds, at times calm, at times violent. She is not taken by air as was known. She should wake before long. Thank you, Undine. Chroma did say she wanted us to stop Duke. It seemed like Chroma knew a lot about Duke. Indeed. Maybe we can ask her more when she's awake. Let's head back for now. Right. We don't have time to just hang around here. Oh, not that path again. These old bones of mine are tired. This sure is a lonely place. It's just rocks and mountains, and the wind just sounds so lonely. It feels more desolate the longer we're here. Let's finish up here and get out soon. But the sun is so warm and feels so nice. Well, aren't you optimistic? Oh? But this is the perfect time for a picnic. Maybe we are lucky to have sunshine. I mean, it looks like there could be a sandstorm any moment. I guess we were letting the atmosphere get to us. Come on, it's not so bad. 
Yes, let's keep going. They sure cheered up quick. This looks like fun. stable, I could get Ba'ul down here. My consciousness. This is what it means to become a spirit. Oh, to think of all the things that were hidden from me. Good morning, lass. Guess she's awake. Um... So, would you still prefer to be called Chroma? No. I am no longer the Antilochea known as Chroma. You should give me a new name. Well... How about Sylph? It means the Binder of Winds. Sylph. Very well. That shall be my name. Okay, Sylph. Nice to meet you. Again. A pleasure to meet you, too. Sylph, would you tell us why Duke hates humans? Very well. You know about the Great War, right? There were Intelikea who chose to live with humans, and those who chose to oppose them. The Great War was between humans who broke an ancient prohibition and the Intelikea who opposed them. And the war ended when the hero Duke won victory for the humans. Duke's a hero? Really? That's one of the truths the Empire's hiding. They glossed over it by spreading convenient little lies. It was simple, but efficient. Patty? Humans alone could not have won that war. Elucifer, the leader of the Antilochea advocating living with humans, fought alongside them and granted them victory. Are you serious? Even I never heard that. But what does this have to do with Duke not trusting humans? Elucifer was Duke's friend. Duke fought with Elucifer against the leader of the ones who opposed humans, and defeated him. However, once the war ended, the Empire feared Elucifer's power. They assaulted the injured Elucifer and took his life. He had promised Duke that he would merely watch, but it didn't matter. No. Now I get it. Anyone would stop trusting humans after that. I had no idea that was going on during the war. It must have been so hard on Duke. But it doesn't matter how badly he was betrayed. He has no right to sacrifice every human life. 
If you do not destroy the Adafagos before Duke, in the end, humanity will be destroyed. Hurry. I have calmed the winds. I believe Ba'ul can reach you now. Thank you, Sylph. So the spirits are working out all right, but... Duke isn't. Yeah. We managed to get the four elemental spirits! Yeah. Now. We have to convert the world's Blastia cores to spirits. Right. If we could control the Artifagos with just those four, then we wouldn't need the others. That thing is not exactly something you want to take on lightly. We better make damn sure we're set. There's no second chance. I know, I know! Just by creating the spirits, we've already changed Terka Lumeray's. Even if it is to save the world. We've been making these decisions all on our own. Now we're changing the lives of everyone in the world. That can't be just our decision. Yeah, you're right. If we can't get them to understand what we're trying to do, we're just as bad as Alexei. But we don't have time. But we can still talk to the Imperial Knights and the Guilds, right? But if they don't approve of how we're doing things, we will become the great evil. I can't stand by and watch the world be destroyed. Even if Duke manages to save the world his way, it doesn't mean anything if there's no one left to live in it. So I don't care if people call me evil. I will give up the Blastia to defeat the Artifagos. What are you going to do? If you want to get off, now's the time. I'm going. My life belongs to brave Vesperia anyway. Me too. Pharaoh and Bellius left it to us. And I don't like leaving things half finished. I know what it feels like to regret what you didn't do. If I stop now, I'll really regret it. Yeah, me too. I don't want to feel like that. No matter what path I choose, I can take whatever happens. I've learned that on this journey. And the people of the world will understand. They're strong enough to take a changing world. Yeah. We do this today so we can laugh tomorrow. That's what I believe. What are you gonna do, Patty? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm coming too. <laughs> All right, everyone. Together until the end. So let's get ready and then go talk to His Majesty Yoder and the people in the Union. So what exactly do you need to get ready? Leave it to me. I want to stop by a city somewhere. I need to pick up some stuff. How about Port Nor? It's at the edge of Elikia. I want to find out what's happened at Emmet Hill since the road was blocked too. Let's go. Are you angry, Yuri? Yeah, a little. Is it about the events of Duke's past that Sylph shared with us? So basically, Duke's doing what he's doing to clean up the mess made by an idiot. The whole thing is just so stupid. Even though Duke and Elucifer were both fighting for humanity's sake, it's so sad. Like the hero who shines so bright that people couldn't look at him and got scared. The overwhelming power caused people to fear him. It's all so stupid. Is Baal doing all right? Sure he's not getting too tired? No, he's fine. But he's uneasy. What's wrong? The apatheia within him isn't enough to undergo spirit conversion yet. But he knows that someday, he will need to give up his current form and become a spirit. Well, humans are all going to die sometime, but we don't spend every day worrying about it. I imagine some people do. Are you saying Baal is that weak? He's far more delicate than you, Yuri. Dying, in his case, isn't exactly death like we normally think of it, though, right? But it does mean that his consciousness will disappear and be replaced by something new. So it's basically a fear of the unknown. That part of it is actually not too different from us. 
The other and Delakea have accepted that they must become spirits. They feel it is their duty to maintain the stability of this planet. Baul's got a mission of his own, though, doesn't he? I mean, what about his commitment to destroy all of the Hermes Blastia? The determination necessary for destroying Blastia and becoming a spirit are very different. Baul still lacks the resolve to give up his identity as an Intelikea. I think lacking it is a lot healthier if you ask me, and I certainly understand. He seems pleased that you understand him. Still, I worry about him going on like this. Do you want him to become a spirit, Judy? No, not in the least. But I wonder what the Intelikea, what the spirits themselves must think. What's going on? I'm not sure. Baul and the spirits are communicating. Or something like that, but without using their voices. Yes. What happened? He says we shouldn't worry about him. But what was all that? Hmm. The spirits said something to calm him down. Maybe they told him how easy they've got it. Yeah, probably. At any rate, it's impossible for him to become a spirit now. We're going to have to go on depending on you until the journey's over, Baul. He wants you to know you can count on him. Undine, Efreet, Gnome, Sylph! The spirits of the four great elements have been born! The Entelikea were thinking of the planet after all. I was worried there for a little bit, but that wasn't too bad. You call surviving by the skin of our teeth not too bad? Ha! Ow! A anyway, we can defeat the Autobagos for sure now, right? Not yet. There's still too many unknown variables. Hypothesize, test, evaluate, then prove. We have to follow the proper steps to ensure success. I'm not even sure how effective the four elements will be in converting air to mana yet. Wait, could the mana from the loss of materialized air created by the spirits be maintaining the balance? If so, then I shouldn't be measuring the actual value, but... No, that's not right. I mean... Okay, she's gone. Yep, I'd say there's nothing to worry about. <laughs>